Hey everybody, this is Paul again. I uh, just went out and uh, one of the things that I realized I was going to need as part of this uh, 97 Chevy S10 project was a torque wrench. I've never used one of these tools and I could easily go ask some friends that I know have them and know how to use them, but that really defeats the purpose of this uh, channel and what we're doing here. So what I did was I went down to the uh, auto parts store and I was hoping I was going to find me a real fancy digital uh, torque wrench that I could just tick up and tick down and I could set my foot pounds and then have a, have a field day with it. Uh, once I looked at those, I realized uh, they were pretty expensive and they're in the range of $100 to $150 for a decent one, uh, digital torque wrench. Uh, and I really, you know, not I don't have that kind of money to be throwing around at tools. so. I found this guy and this is a uh, kind of like an off the wall I don't even know what brand it is to be honest with you uh, and it's not written on any of the documentation uh, the little pamphlet there's a little, a little pamphlet that came with it uh, it's not anywhere on there so here's a $20 torque wrench okay I went online last night I spent about a half an hour trying to trying to tr transcribe these beautiful instructions into something that would make sense to me. Uh, I finally found one YouTube video, it was really good, and he answered the one question I had. Uh, so I'm hoping that uh, with this video, I'm gonna save you about 30 minutes of your day and uh, we can answer all your questions instead of, so you don't have to go online and look at a bunch of different videos to get that one question answered. So first thing you wanna do is, uh, this is a inch pound torque wrench. So the irony is, uh, I'm looking for foot pound. Everything's in foot pounds in my in my maintenance guide. So um, I was I wasn't sure how many inch pounds were in a foot pounds, right? And uh, I felt pretty stupid when I flipped this guy over and right at the bottom here. And I hope it's gonna catch, but you'll see. One foot pound equals 12 inch pounds. Now if you take the pound off the end of that and you ask me, Paul, how many inches are in a foot? I could have told you. So we want to start with the instructions, okay? Ladies, when you, you say that we never read the instructions, that's because you're asking us to build things that we're really not interested in. In this case, we're interested in this, so I'm gonna read the instructions. And you know, they get really cryptic. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the industry uh, that built this tool, and I'm not familiar with the industry, I'm learning, but I'm not familiar with the industry that uses this tool. So some of the terminology gets a little crazy. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna kind of read through this and then I'm gonna I'm gonna go through the example. I'm gonna do the example and I hope that answers any questions you have about these uh, non-digital torque wrenches and, uh, and, and makes it to where you can actually use this thing. How to use your new torque wrench. Balancing wrench in hand gra with graduations visible, unlock the knurled handle by turning the lock nut counterclockwise. It says see figure one. So I'm looking at this and I go, well, where's figure one? That's figure one right there. So that kind of looks like the back of this guy. And uh, you know, and then I got a little hung up on a couple things like graduations and the word knurled and it's spelled with a K, so I kept calling it knurled. I went online and I looked up in, uh, on the dictionary.com and I looked up the word knurled and all knurled is the lathing technique that applies this diamond pattern to the handle. So what they're saying, all they had to do is say turn handle, but they say turn knurled handle, and it throws me off again. Uh, simple simple stuff, but okay, so we have this lock. Oops, I took it away. Sorry. We have this this right here, so I'm, I turned it counterclockwise to loosen it up, and then you have a couple settings here. Uh, we have this in inch pounds on this side, and then on the other side, we have it in newton. Uh, we're not from England or Europe, so we're going to stick with the inch pounds because that kind of works for me. So I'm going to go ahead and set this to zero. Okay. And so now we are in inch pounds and we have torqued it out to zero. So and this particular one's within 4% on accuracy according to the instructions. So, so, so you can see that. Okay. So now what you're looking at is our graduations are set to zero uh, then there's a vertical bar here and you can see these little slide bars coming from numbers and those numbers count up in increments of 120 inches or inch pounds their example says to set this to to uh 
504 inch pounds what you got to do is you turn this oops i keep taking this out of focus sorry we're going to turn this knurled handle uh, clockwise to move it move it up and it's going to slide up this arm here until we get to the right setting okay so it's going to be kind of hard for me to do this while you're watching but i'm going to give it my best shot so as you can see as i turn this it slides up the bar all right, and we want to take it to 480 because we're going to set this to 504. So where's my 480s up there? Right up there, right up there. So we're going to take this to 480. And you see what I'm doing is I'm stopping. I got to set it to zero right at the 480. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to let this focus again. All right, and you can see there's the f 480, and you can see it comes down, and zero that slide touches the vertical bar, and it's at zero. So now we're at 480 foot pounds of torque, and if my memory's that's I think f that's 40 pounds of foot pounds of uh, foot pounds of torque, four, 480 inch pounds of torque. So now I need to get the 504. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this what they call the graduations and I'm gonna go I'm gonna count up two one two this is actually I believe it's basically this is foot pounds so two foot pounds two times twelve would be twenty four so I'm sitting at 480 on my on my little chart here so I'm gonna click this I'm gonna move this over to where the two lines up with the vertical line I'm just getting it because it gets kinda Oops, come on, turkey. Get on there. Arrgh, got it. Okay. So now the two is on that vertical line. Okay. And you see we're just past the 480, that 480 slide mark. Okay. So now that two represents, uh, set this back down for a second. The two represents uh, uh, 24 foot pound, uh, inch pounds of pressure. So, so you add the 24. Uh, inch pounds to the 480 and you get 504 inch pounds of pressure. So when they talk about uh, setting in the instructions they, they, they use the example of 504 inch pounds. That translates to 42 foot pounds of pressure being applied to the bulb. So I uh, hope this uh, was informative. If you liked the video Please subscribe and I look forward to your comments and feedback in any of the videos on this channel.